Hey guys, today we're going to solve lead code number 290, word pattern. We're given a pattern and a string, and we need to find if strings follow the same pattern. So for example, here we have A, B, B, and A, and you can see that A is equal to dog, and B is equal to cat here, so we need to return true. But for example here, A would have to be both equal to dog and to fish, so we need to return false, because there is no bijection between letters in pattern and words in string. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to write a function that returns false if it finds any conflict in the bijection, and it's going to return true if it doesn't find any conflict. So the first thing that we do is we store two maps. One map that maps every character, every letter in the pattern to the corresponding word in the string, and the reverse map as well. So a map that stores for every word in our string the corresponding letter in the pattern, okay? So initially, obviously, those are empty. Now what we want to do is we want to split the pattern into all of its letters. So now instead of a string here, we have an array of all of the letters of the pattern. And same can be said for the string, except that we need to split it based on the spaces. Okay, so now here we have an array of every word in the string. Perfect, so now we want to check if their lengths are equal. Because if their lengths are not equal, then we know that definitely there is no bijection. So if the lengths are different, then we want to return false straight away. But if the lengths are equal, then we want to loop through all of the letters of pattern and in parallel all of the words of the string, just like this. And now we have, well, first of all, we pick the current word from the string array and the current letter from the pattern array. This is just for readability. Obviously, it's not mandatory to do this. And now what we do is we have two conditions that would have us returning false here. So we check for conflicts in the first and second map. So these are the two conditions that make us return false in these iterations of this for loop. The first condition is if there is a conflict in the mapping of the character to the words of the string. So we check if there is a mapping of the current letter to any word in the string. So it is different from undefined, so meaning that the mapping of this current letter has a value. And if that value is different from the current word, then we have found a conflict. So we need to return false. And the same can be said about the mapping of the words to their corresponding character. So we check if the mapping of the current word has a value, so it's not undefined. And if its value is different from the current letter, then we need to return false. Okay, so these are the two possible conflicts that can happen that would mean that there is no bijection between the letters of the pattern and the words of the string. And now we, we just need to take care of updating these maps if we haven't, if we aren't returning false in one of these two conditions. Okay, so to update them, we want to update the map that maps the words to their corresponding character. We take the current word at that index, we assign the value current letter. And the same, but in reverse, for the map character to word of the current letter, we need to assign the current word. Okay, so in the next iterations, those are going to be checked. Nice, so I'm going to show you that this works. And I know there are shorter solutions, but this was the one that I came up with, and I believe it's really readable. And so that's it for today. Thank you, and bye.